Hi, my name is Jody. I wanted to enter your contest. Uh, and this is a good chance for you to see me because we obviously see you so often. It's nice to know that you're, you at least one time spend a few minutes hearing me talk. Uh, the reason why I like watching your videos and what I like about them is because for about eight years or so I've been a regular contributor uh, on a site called X Entertainment. I'll post a link down below so you can glance at it if you've never seen it before. I know there's a million and one websites out there that you would spend your time looking at. But it's mostly a nostalgic website talking about the 80s and 90s Transformers with My Little Pony um, all that stuff and the person that writes articles on it, Matt, he like buys old cereal off of eBay and then he reviews it, he like puts it in a bowl and shows you it and so he reviews food as well he reviews frozen food that he buys recently because it's not just stuff from 20 years ago, it's stuff now and just random stuff that anyway you know how it is um, when you review stuff but I know several years ago he reviewed those french fries that were bright blue with the Jimmy Neutron on the package uh, and then there was the cinnamon variation of that as well, of course, and then the tater tots that were a smiley face. And, of course, just every variation of kids' cuisine. Uh, just the Shrek version and the Halloween version, all that stuff. So, he was one of the only people that I'd seen that would review frozen food that I'd actually read about it. And He Eat Review was another one, but I wasn't a regular visitor of that website when it still existed. But I always kind of had an interest for a few years in that genre, I guess you could call it. And just novelty food in, in general. And so that's when I noticed that on YouTube when I just found you in the related videos or whatever it was. I was like, wow, he reviews frozen food? I'm definitely on board with that. And so, I don't know, it's been, what, at least a year that I've been watching you and I watch a new video and then, well, I used to when I was way behind, I would watch a new video and then I'd watch a couple, three, four of your old videos and then I eventually caught up. And I do catch your live shows, but I watch, watch them after the fact. When you record them, record them, and I'm glad you record them, because I am busy talking to my girlfriend at that time, and I can't explain to her that, oh, I have to, you know, not talk to you for a couple hours, because this random Asian guy that reviews frozen food is on, and I just have to see him. And... So, yes, I do watch your live shows sometimes, and I do, you do influence me sometimes to get something I don't normally, it's not that I totally wouldn't buy it, but I just am kind of hesitant to get it because of the price, or because of, it's just not something I normally get, and then you kind of push me, so I, it can, you convince me to get it more, so, and it's, it is interesting to compare my own opinion with yours and it, it just adds more fun to eating I guess you could say and that's really all I can say about that um, I enjoy that this crazy thing called the internet we can get something as obscure as someone reviewing DiGiorno's pizza with the breadsticks attached to it or ice cream or whatever the hell it is and we love it. We would rather sit here for 15 minutes having you talk about tater tots rather than watch an actual show on TV. It's just the interesting thing about the internet. So anyway, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Um, see you later, Greg.